Hello everybody, I'd like to show you my new tester. This is the inner box version and this is the standalone version. But I did it with only this PCB here, the top, top layer and the bottom layer. So with this PCB we can make this or this. Different is this switch are longer and this shorter the LED or surface mount here not here and that's it the switch is the same so now let's try it power on now we have the battery indicator the voltage indicator, the counter, the percentage of the, the charging capacitor, and the state, good. This switch and this one, those switch are power on button, option button, charging LED, this good LED, this discharging LED, just here, and for this switch is ceramic poly paper mica forecast and electrolyte so let's try for example this this large capacitor <coughs> sorry capacitor 33 microfarad so I would use uh, let's say this one uh, Did you see? Turn off by itself. After a while, if we do nothing and it's in good state, not charging anything, it will shut down by itself. Like so. Um, so. Now charging. Hmm. We can charge it. We can use this one too, in the same time, why not? Let's see... Ah, it's good. Forecast. 17.4 second. Forecast. This one is to 0.1 microfarad. Paper, maximum voltage. Right in. So for gas, stay there. It's good. Look, power off. Look the discharge the LED just here. Discharging goodbye. Go. This is my the blue one. It's good. Forecast. Stay there. Let's see. Very, very, very sensitive at forecast. Just touch the lead. Let's try a leaky capacitor. Example this little blue one here. It's a 10 microfarad 16 volt. So let's 16 volt. Okay. We put this in here. See, it's good for that seven second and forecast. Look at this, oh, very leaky. Yesterday, the first time I, I charged this capacitor, 200 seconds. 
and now six seconds. So it's definitely leak. This capacitor, uh, 30 years old, maybe more. Same thing for this one. 25 volt, 22 microfarad. We have also the backlight indicator. For now, it's off. If I want to put the backlight on, just push the option button and on. There it is. But I think you, you didn't see it. Yeah, on my side, it's very beautiful, but off. Turn it down. So that's it. Now I'll show you the voltage option button. Power on twenty five volt. Maximum five ten sixteen and twenty five volt. The voltage is kept in EEPROM. So if I turn off the char uh, the tester and turn on, it will say five uh, twenty five volt again because it's kept like I said in EEPROM. Now I want to show you the current. So power on. It's uh, 13, well maybe 15 million. When is when is charging? Um, for example, no, oh, just this one. I'll oh, shut the lead. 26 because of this this LEDs fourteen and look if I push the option button with the same and after the power on yeah we have the backlight on very beautiful on my side, but on the camera is not uh, it's not very good. But it's uh, it's not very good for the battery, 32 milliamp, and with in charge, yeah, 44 milliamp. Off. I disable the backlight. This is the schematics. For now, I'll explain to you the power section. The power section is, in fact, one chip TSP709. This little chip, very, very little, can take 30 volt in and came out with 5 volt. 
So with this push button, uh, the current came across this diode to the enable pin. So now 5 volt came out to the microcontroller. Microcontroller turned this pin high, PD0, across this diode to L enable pin. So with one time push button, turn on this one, turn on this, and everything is on. If we push back in the push uh, power off button, this wire here go to the INT0, inter, uh, sorry, INT interrupt 1, INT1. So when we push back in this button, INT1 is activated, so microcontroller put this pin low, PD0, so PD0, 0 volt, shut down this chip. So with gen only one button, we can power on and power off the whole circuit. Now the option button. When we push down this option button, interrupt zero is activated. After that, microcontroller turn this pin to 5 volt, so this pin goes high. This one, this one, this one, or this one. So PD6, 7, PB0, or PB1 to 5 volt. So activate this transistor to activate this zener diode. 5 volt, 10 volt, 16 and 25 volt or if no one is activate is the maximum so 27 volt or 29 volt is the if the battery or, or brand new. The voltage is displayed here and save any problem. Like that we can turn off the chip uh, yeah and turn on and the voltage uh, the voltage will be remain. Those coils are charging relay and discharging relay. When a 5 volt came here, this transistor is activated, so 27 volt came across the coil and flip the switch. Charging relay, same same thing for the discharging relay. So 5 volt here, switch activated and discharge this capacitor on the test. If you want to see the relay, it's this little part here. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, it was, I think, my first large video in English. Uh, I know my English is not very good, but uh, normally I speak only French and I'm listening TV, English TV, but uh, I don't speak English very, very often, so sorry about that. I hope you enjoyed the video anyway, so maybe see you next time. Bye-bye.